Hello, Capricorns. I hope you guys are okay. I think till your full moon and Leo messages. All right, this full moon and Leo is going to last for about two weeks, Capricorns. And it's all about releasing things that are no longer serving us. We can be able to rewind on our path and releasing a lot of burdens, a lot of pent up energy, a lot of emotions right now, Capricorns. Okay, so, whew. Could have been someone was hiding their emotions here and it's caused a lot of pain, all right? They're feeling like they didn't make a right decision and I feel like you want them to be openly, um, be more emotionally open, Capricorns. There's an outpouring of love here. This person is ready to give you their cup. You might feel like this is completely over, but it's not, okay? I have worked through your fears. Could be dealing with the Scorpio and then a personal issue reaches resolution, cancer energy, a time for healing, holds your vision and adjustments are required, Capricorns, okay? So like you're on bother. They're on bother. You're on bother. They thought you, like you're just done with the situation. A lot of you are walking away finding new love because you have been deceived in regards to a third party. Someone could have cheated. I keep hearing someone told you I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking, didn't mean and nothing, but you're seeing your worth and moving forward from the situation, Okay. Third party doesn't necessarily have to be another lover, but I have to say that because it's Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, and then someone's pregnant over here, Empress Energy, okay? If the third party wasn't romantic, as I, as I was saying in the beginning, they're showing up in their King of Swords Hermit card energy because they're emotionally closed off. It's really hard for them to let their guard down, but that's not your problem. They've been hurt before in their past. They've been lied to. They've been deceived. I feel like in their in their relationships, they were the one that had to walk away, and now they're kind of so sabotaging your relationship because you're the full package Capricorns. They see that. Here you are. Um, showing best the Empress and the Queen of Cups. And it's like they don't want to lose you, so they're finally going to give you the emotions that you want. Before they fully walk away from this, yeah. Then you were kind of pissed, yeah. You cut someone off. This person could have caught this third party off. But it's like a little bit too late. I'm done. The past is now behind you. Release and embrace new opportunities. A path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So you're going to get the clarity you need. Like I said, an expression of emotions. For some of you, you're moving forward. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. And that's what I'm getting. Like, they don't like that you're sitting here chilling, unbothered. Some of you have been at the beach, you know, or just walking outside or by a lake or take, or you even took like a mini vacation to just get your mind off things or you're thinking about planning one planet. You know, someone's rushing in really, really fast. You also might hear from this third party, right? They're really just, so you it's kind of weird karmic energy. Um, but you're going to take the high road and just, like, leave them alone. But again, this person is coming in as the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands energy. They might come in with a text message to express how they care and then wanting to kind of meet up with you. This is also going to come unexpected. And again, for some of you, new love is coming. And again, they're giving you their cup now. But again, showing up as a Page and the King of Cups. I mean, Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. I feel like a win-win outcome. Like, you're, you're going to win no matter what, Capricorns. Whatever decision you choose here, you're going to be all right. And again, if this person, the third party was, um, hold your vision, you are a good enough one to come out again. If they were emotionally unavailable, where well, they're opening up to you now, right? They want to take care of you, be a provider, have a new start here. They don't want you to walk away. So they're coming in with, like, a shit ton of words. Scorpio energy, Knight of Pentacles. They want long term with you. They're tired of feeling overwhelmed or emotions. They also may express how when they were going up here, um, Capricorns, that they had like inner child wounds, you know, from their parents. They just didn't know how to love. Oh, yeah, heart to heart conversations are coming in. Silence to discuss your feelings, knowing that you deserve love. It's like I'm done hiding my feelings, feelings for you. I'm ready to come forward and tell the truth. I never meant to disappoint you or hurt you. It was I know it wasn't my fault that things didn't work out. And I'm sorry. It's just I had a lot on my plate. I was blocked out by love. I was overwhelmed. I didn't know how to articulate my emotions for you. Yeah. And instead of not taking a risk, I should have expressed that. But again, wow. Okay, so they're they're trying to come in and fill their cup. Once they fill their cup, there's an offer. So just use your discernment the next two weeks, Capricorns. Because, again, this person can show up cup full or cup half full, all right? You have things for the blessings of love so to come your way. Know that you deserve to be in all that your heart truly desires. And wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Hang. Two of Wands. Hang, man. Okay, yeah. So wait a little bit. You know, don't. 
move too forward in regards to decisions in your life let things balance out kind of go through a surrender phase i have marriage is coming in you learned the spiritual lesson yeah everything will unfold divine timing and know that if it's fate then it's meant to happen if it's true love then it's meant to happen here yeah your true love is already a part of your life this love is emotional physical unconditional anything else you need to know in regards to this full moon and leo yeah breaking the chain healing rewriting future that i wanted to come out okay your vibration is rising because you're upon this earth to uplift humanity coming out the cave persecution express yourself with that journaling talking to god telling them you know your um, goals here and again children i was finding out you might find out someone has a child and forgiving and learning as you release to heal the past you experience more love in your present moments yeah because a stable love partner is coming in very very quickly so that's why spirit wants you to heal right nine of wands nine of cups energy over here a chapter on life is completing so that you can start anew so don't be afraid to speak up on how you feel and again tell your angels you know what you want and it's going to manifest so let's see what they want to say to you so now I feel love and blessings are soon to fill your life. Harmonious relationship with family, happily ever after. Three of our feel reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. And then I have the Raphael one to come out. <laughs> a new emotional situation, messages, yeah, regarding relationships or social in invitations, great intuitive insights. So say yes to any invitations right now because you have love coming in. Make choices from your heart. That's the lesson that's needed. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love, Capricorns, all right? I'm going to leave it here, guys. Have a wonderful week.